Hey, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and we have this brand new DLC right around the corner. In case you don't know, you've been living under a rock lately. It's coming out the coming Tuesday, July 24th. The Nightclub After Hours DLC is actually what it's called, just After Hours. But yeah, guys, so I wanted to make a video today just on the best money glitches that you can actually hit to make millions before this DLC comes out. All right, both of these work on Xbox One and PS4, and they're the best ones to do at the moment, in my opinion. Now, there also is a, or there is a solo money glitch as well, and I'm going to leave the link to the Seven Sins post down in the description, so if you want to check that out. I didn't make a video. It's an inconsistent glitch. It takes forever, and it's just, to me, it's not even worth it. But if you want to check it out, you can. I'll also leave a link to my Extreme Money Guide, which is 100% legit ways to make money in GTA. So you can check that out and actually see uh, if you guys are interested in, in just making legit money. Now, I'll leave the link to that video. It's a long one, but I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you are going legit, remember, double money in RP on hangar sale missions and 25% bonus on biker sale missions. So those are the things to do right now before the DLC. But for this video, we're going over the money glitches, all right? So two money glitches. The first one is no custom plates, and the second one you do need custom plates for. Uh, all the founders, like always, are in the description, and I'll leave a timestamp on the video right now like on the screen and I actually show you when the first money glitch begins and when the second money glitch begins okay and i'll probably put that in the description as well but uh yeah guys so we're gonna go ahead and actually get started and hop into this first glitch right here so glitch one it's uh, to me i there's a reason i put these in this order but i'm gonna show you that you know it'll be it'll be you know apparent in a second here but for glitch one you need at least one friend and you want the same facility that's very important you need the same facility we're going to be merging here so you both need avengers and you want a retro custom or a benny's vehicle in your facility no custom plates needed we're going to be duping that you both need full cars in the facility and you want to go ahead and have an rh8 or a fagio to dupe over somewhere else that's not in the clubhouse and an moc with the personal vehicle storage to save the dupe okay so what i'm doing right now is i actually i'm in my facility standing on the floor and i signed in as a ceo and I sent my friend an invite, all right? And I'm gonna hover over a tire. My friend's in the top right. So what my friend's gonna do is go ahead and go into their uh, facility and inside of their Avenger. Now, once they're in there, what they're gonna go ahead and do is actually position themselves and hover over the invite to my CEO. And they're gonna accept the invite, slam on X or A and just keep you know tapping it and run towards the door and hopefully hit the exit Avenger. When they're on the black screen, they let you know so I can go ahead and retire and then they should merge facilities and spawn in the Avenger. Okay, so I'm going to go in depth on that because I know some of you guys have problems with it. So here we go. This is what the friend's going to be doing. All right. So it's all about the distance that you are away from the door. You can't be too close and you can't be too far. All right. If you want to see when I hit it, then return back to the previous clip. But these are the two fails that you will encounter, and I'll show you why you failed them. So on this one, this is when the Exit Avenger doesn't pop up and you actually hit the door. So check it out. I'm going to hit on Exit Avenger, and then look, I hit the door, and I hit a black screen, and no Exit Avenger you know, option popped up, and I spawned outside. That is because I was too close. So if you're touching the door, and that Exit Avenger isn't coming up, you are way too close. All right, way too close. You have to back up on your next attempt. Okay, but don't back up too much, just a little bit. So I'm going to show you what happens when you back up too much. Okay, so you guys can know why you're failing this. It's not patched. This hasn't been patched for a long time, but there's people constantly saying they can't do this. Okay, and this is the reason. So I'm going to hover over that uh, invite, and then I'm going to go ahead and tap X and go forward. And you see that I hit the black screen before I even got to the door. That means you're too far away. Okay, so you need to find that sweet spot right in the middle. And that's what I did before. Okay, so... Right now, I'm going to go ahead and go back to when I actually hit the glitch. So my friend just spawned in the facility. It's fully merged. My friend's going to go ahead and run over to the retro and stand by the passenger side door and just have them wait right there. All right, because that's where you're going to be going next uh, after this part. So as the duper, you want to go ahead and actually go outside. Now, once we go outside, you need a car to dupe over. So remember I said you want RH8s or Fagios somewhere. Now, with Fagios, you can go ahead and you can actually call up uh, you can call up a Fagio through your MC president menu, so nice and easy. But I'm going to go ahead and call up my mechanic. And now I don't have a lot of RH8s on this account, but I know I do have one right here in this Eclipse Tower Garage, and I have plenty in my facility. So I'm going to go ahead and just call one up for my facility. I couldn't drive this one out because when the facilities are merged, you actually can't drive vehicles. They're bricked unless it's for the, the other player, you know, but for me, they are bricked. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just call up an RHA right here. And this is the one that we're going to be duping over, so we need to leave this outside. But it's a merge glitch. Remember, you don't need plates because this is the plate that's actually going to transfer. So I think that said ZUT in the middle. That's going to be our brand new plate on the dupe. So I'm going to leave that car outside and go back inside and run over to the retro where my friend is actually waiting patiently for me. Okay, so I'm going to hop in and this is where I'm just going to tell my friend, you want to go ahead and press wire triangle and then hold it. All right, so press and hold it. Now, when the door is fully open, I'm going to go ahead and pop out. So you see, door is fully open and I get out. They keep holding wire triangle and then look at that. They scooch right over into the driver's seat and they can actually drive around and you've given them access to that vehicle in the facility. Okay, so that's how that works. All right, so now all they're going to do is go ahead and just park the car in this position right here to block off the door so that we can teleport in and out. And they're going to teleport out first, and then we go out and back in, okay? So it's funny, man. This glitch has been working for so long. I can't believe they haven't patched up this teleport trick. It's literally been working since week one of the Doomsday DLC. So I really wonder if they're going to finally like fully put a clamp on this. But as you can see right there, I can teleport in and out of the vehicle. I'm going to go to the yellow circle and hover over exit facility. You want to press X and triangle at the same time or A and Y at the same time. All right. And you can edge a little bit closer to the car if that makes you feel more comfortable. But yeah, once you press those at the same time, your friend should see the car go like transparent, you know, and there we go. You should spawn outside and the plate actually, you know, merged right there in front of your eyes. So you see that ZUT655? That's the plate that was on the RH8. Now I'm just gonna open up my interaction menu like I just did there and request the MOC because that's where we're gonna be saving the vehicle. So remember, you need the personal vehicle storage in your MOC. I'm gonna go ahead and press right D-pad. I have a vehicle in there, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna end up in the facility. So you can transfer, it's fine. It doesn't matter what you have in there as long as you have the personal vehicle storage. And there you go, you've saved the dupe. Now, if you wanna save time and rinse and repeat, take the MOC and park it near your facility. Okay, park it near the facility and then you won't have to actually keep driving back and forth to, uh, to the spawn location. So just have it near your facility where you still have the blue circle. You want to go ahead and go inside of your facility and give access to an, or yeah, you want to give access to your friend, to another car, and you do the same thing over again. But remember, put a vehicle outside first. So put an RH8 outside or a Fagio to dupe over, all right? That's basically the biggest thing for rinsing repeating. Everything in the facility is the same. Uh, you've done the merge, that's it. But you might need to bring in some more retros. If you don't have any more in there, then you might actually need to do the merge again or put more retros in the facility, okay? So we're moving on to glitch number two here. Glitch number two, we can definitely go through a lot quicker and there's a lot fewer steps, but there's a lot more driving, all right? There's some downsides, but it's okay. So glitch two, this one, all you need is a facility, one friend, and you wanna go ahead and throw a retro in your facility as well. And you do need custom plates for this. So remember, on your retro that you're duping, you do wanna have custom plates. All right, and make sure that you have a full garage somewhere with an RH8 or a Fagio to dupe over. That garage must be full, okay? So right now what's going on is I went into my facility and all these glitches can be done in an invite only, by the way, all right? Invite only works for all these. So at this moment, I've invited my friend into my facility and I'm just gonna go ahead and run over to the retro that I'm gonna be duping. Now this has to be a retro with a custom plate. So you see I have a fart crew plate on this one, needs a custom plate. So this is the name of the game. You need your friend to be in your facility. Go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. So my friend's starting up a Titan of a job and sitting in the lobby screen. All right. Now, if you're on Xbox, your friend's going to need a back out when they're ready. But if you're on PlayStation and an invite only, they don't need a back out. But you're going to see what I mean here. So I need to join my friend. And then before the alert comes up, I need to drive out of the facility and accept that first alert as quick as I can. All right. That's what's going to be happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join session and then hopefully I can drive out before the alert comes up. But you see, I couldn't. The alert came up way too quick. Now I accept them, it's all good. I'm gonna just come right back down. But you need to drive out. If the alert's coming up too quick, you need to find another way to do it. And I actually did find another way. As you can see, the alerts are coming up way, way too quick. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually have my friend invite me to the job and I'm gonna use an invite instead. Now, if you're using invites, the friend has to back out. Doesn't matter what console you're on. An invite, your friend needs to back out of the job when you tell him. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Now, I'm going to get into this retro. I'm going to have my friend invite me to the job. I should have the invite ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and just hit join on that invite, drive out. So you see, I'm just going to tap right trigger and drive out and accept that first alert and then right away tell my friend to back out of the job. All right. If done correctly, you should get an unable to connect alert for the most part. Now, if you're doing invite only, just private session, you'll get a private session alert and your friend doesn't need to back out, but that's only on PlayStation. 
So on Xbox and PS4, I recommend doing it this way if you can. Uh, right when that first alert came up, I accepted it, and then you should get a second alert really quick. It just took a while for this one, but this alert works too. You want to sit on your second alert for around 50 seconds. Once you've sat on that alert for 50 seconds, then you can go ahead and hit X or A to continue. And if done correctly, you should spawn under the map with your retro, okay? Go ahead and just drive forward a little bit or just wiggle the, uh, the wheel so that you can actually just start falling under the map. Don't get out of the car or else it will despawn. So right now I'm waiting. There we go. I've spawned on top of the map and I can actually get out of the car and check it out. I don't have a personal vehicle icon. So right there, no personal vehicle icon. That means you hit it. Have your friend, whether they're in the job or out of the job, they need to stay in the facility this whole time. So have them stay inside of the facility the entire time until you have actually saved your dupe. So right now I'm going to make my way over to the garage where I have that full garage with at least one RHA to dupe over. All right, remember, you need a custom plate on this vehicle. Very important. So I've driven over to that garage where I have the RHA. I'm going to go ahead and get out and leave this car outside. Okay, I'm going to leave this car outside and then I'm going to run into my penthouse suite one, I believe it is. And this is the one where I have the one RHA. So here we go. I have spawned inside and... I'm going to go ahead and just get into this RH8 and drive it outside. That's all you want to do. This can be a Fagio. This can be really any vehicle, but it must be a full garage. So I'm going to drive this car out. And once you drive out, you should still have the dupe ready to go right there. All right. It's not going to despawn. So there's the dupe. I'm going to leave this car outside, get out, go inside the dupe. And this is the car you want to take inside the garage. All right. So here we go. I'm going to drive forward. And once I've driven forward, I'm going to drive it into that same exact garage. Make sure you put it in the same garage that you just took out the RHA or whatever car you're duping over. And that's pretty much it. You're going to see right here, we're going to drive in. And what's going to happen is it's going to actually dupe and you'll have duplicates in there. One will despawn and there you go. So your brand new save dupe is in your garage. You don't have to do anything further. And if you want to rinse and repeat, easiest way to do this would be to actually go outside, have your friend invite you to a job circle that's close by and uh, close by to the facility and then they can teleport you back and forth all right nice and easy so that's gonna be it for me man i'm like out of breath here all right talking for like 13 minutes straight but yeah so that's gonna be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video shout out to the founders my name is roll easy please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gca5 online content we are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.